Well, hello, good people. What you're seeing on the screen is Runway Gen 3 Alpha, now available to all subscribers. Now, from the looks of it so far, in terms of fidelity, consistency, looks very, very promising. From the examples that I've tried, true text to video, I would say it does a better job, but there are still limitations. This is definitely a step forward in text to video and I'll explain all that in just a few minutes but as you can see great motion again high fidelity obviously these are cherry-picked results I feel like the advancement in AI video has been a little slow now it's a little bit more complicated I, I get that but at the same time once again text true text to video I find it's severely lacking in many areas so I want to find out for ourselves just how good it is, how much it's improved from Gen 2. Here's an example that I came up with and basically it's an FPV shot that starts with the ice glacier cave and then as it enters the cave it emerges into a natural rainforest which you can see here. Let me open this up so that you can see it. The movement, the details looks very realistic and really smooth it's only 720p you'd have to upscale the video this type of shot it does very well i find with nature natural landscapes any text to video seems to do very well here's something a little more simpler of a woman wearing a leather jacket walking on the sidewalk in the city at night i did mention ripped jeans but i guess it didn't get that perspective and uh, as I open it up here, you're going to see some weirdness where this is supposed to be a sidewalk, but we have a car here about to hit this woman. Look out. But it just goes through her. In terms of the smoothness of the slow motion, the hair wisping in the air there looks pretty cool. Very believable and very natural. Now, again, this is only text to video and not image to video. Now, I did a similar prompt changing the ethnicity and it did pick that up. But as you can see here, we get this weird morphing of two people. We've got one person here. And as she flips her hair, hello, surprise. <laughs> that would be an interesting date. And if you see in the beginning of the video here, she's got two hands. Let me pause it. There we go. You see, she's got two arms, two hands, I guess, holding a cell phone. So I can crop this part and kind of start it where she flips her hair there. That looks more natural. And yeah, at least it picked up her ethnicity. Now to get started, all you have to do is head over to runwayml.com, log in with your details, click on get started, and you'll be brought into this interface here. What I encourage you to do is click on guide here, and it's gonna give you this prompt structure and a lot of information that's gonna help with creating your video. Now I'm not gonna go through the whole thing, but I do wanna point out a few things. Here it talks about the structure you should follow. So you should have your camera movement, establishing the scene and then prompting for additional details. For example, we have low angle static shot. That's our camera movement. And then establishing the scene, we have the cameras angled up at a woman wearing all orange as she stands in a tropical rainforest with colorful flora. Then we have the dramatic sky is overcast and gray. And that prompt gave me something like this. And it's not perfect, and hello, <laughs> I didn't even notice that. But it captured the details of the prompt. I guess you'd have to generate quite a few to get something better. Now they do give you some sample prompts to try, which I did. I'll show you the results in a minute. But if you scroll further down, they give you examples of camera styles like low angle, high angle, overhead view. These are very helpful to construct your prompts properly. Further down, we have lighting styles like diffused light, silhouette, lens flare, backlit, side lit, all very helpful. Then we have movement speeds, dynamic motion, slow motion, hyperspeed, time lapse. 
So go through the guide, get familiar with these terms, and you can even use ChatGPT to help you come up with prompts. So basically, I just copied that article, pasted it into ChatGPT here, and then at the end, I just put, this is information to create text to video, create a prompt in detail using the information above. The subject is a man running in the forest as a wolf chases him in hyperspeed. Now, this prompt didn't turn out too well, but it did give me a pretty decent prompt here listing the camera movement, establishing the scene and additional details. Now, you wouldn't have to put this information in the prompt. You simply just remove it and paste in all the other details. Now, the other thing I wanted to point out is it's pretty expensive to generate. Now, you can do five seconds or 10 seconds. I've pretty much used up most of my credits here, but if you look at where it says Gen 3, it uses 10 credits per second of video generated. So a 10 second clip is gonna cost you 100 credits. And if you're on the standard plan like me, it's what, like 630 credits or whatever it is a month. So it's not a lot of credits if you wanna do 10 seconds. It's kind of pricey for this. Now, mind you, Runway is the only place where you can do 10 second videos at one shot. Now, as I said before, this is only text to video. There is no image to video available just yet. There are no controls as well, unlike Gen 2 where you have motion brushes and things like that. For now, you'll have to prompt for the motion and the scene. So for example, I've got Moody, filmic style, 35 millimeter, Dolly of a Knight riding a horse in the forest at sunset. It's okay, I mean, the horse looks like it's uh, walking sideways. This is a 10 second clip, by the way. The details are good, but the motion itself of the horse walking isn't too accurate. But the details of the night look really cool. This prompt was just a woman in a cafe at sunset. Yeah, I think the details look great. The hair is coming out of the ears. It's kind of weird, but the teeth look uh, pretty natural. The lips a little too smooth in terms of the skin, but not too bad. Now, this was one of the suggested prompts in the guide. As I said before, with nature, landscape scenes, things like that, it does excel pretty well. And uh, yeah, this looks fantastic. Here's another example that was given in the guide that I tried out. And yeah, it's an FPV shot, ice glaciers, mountains in the background. Looks very good. I also wanted to try some text effects and I did this dripping paint type of prompt. Turned out pretty decent, you know, really simple, but I just wanted to try something easy. Spelt my, na my last name pretty well. But in this example, I tried my last name on a neon sign. It didn't really get uh, the letters properly. I don't know what it's trying to spell there. Nice try, nice effort. Now with this one, I just put cloud of smoke transforming to text saying Monzon. It turned out pretty decent. Not the effect that I was going for, but looks pretty cool nonetheless. Here I was trying a cinematic scene of a wolf running in the forest with fog and it picked up the details but the wolf looks like it's injured. So the camera movement looks great, but the actual motion of the wolf needs some improvement there. And then I was trying this wildlife scene with a cheetah running. We see that it's got this weird tail and it kind of morphs into this weird creature by the end of the clip. Not the greatest results. As always, my friends, let me know what you think of Runway Gen 3 in the comments below. Until the next video, I'll see you when I see you.